Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, today's video is going to be a huge spring cleaning clip cleaning. What the hell? Huge spring clothing haul. Obviously, I don't do these very much. This is not sponsored, by the way. Everything that I will mention will be linked in the description box below. I wanted a revamp of my closet because the past year, we all know we've been living in sweatpants and sweats. Probably gonna get out a little bit more and I wanna look cute. So, I ordered a ton of clothes. First things first, we're gonna start with Zara. The first piece is the piece I'm actually wearing right now. This is my favorite piece of the whole entire clothing haul. I really like the colors. I like the woven material. It's cropped. I think I'm gonna be wearing this quite a lot. It's definitely a statement piece, which I also like. You guys know me in pops of color. It's super comfortable. I freaking love it. I love it so much. I really like the square tops here. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's the most flattering, especially for like my shoulders. And then I bought some jeans to go with it, which I don't know what I was thinking. I bought two because the Zara here, the fitting rooms are closed and I need to try on two sizes because I waver between the two. I waver between size four and size six. I don't know why or what I was thinking. I was probably just like not there, but I ordered a zero and a two. I have never been a freaking size zero ever in my life even when i went from like the kids section to adult i like surpass zero i will never fit in a zero i have hips for days like my hips are literally bone like i will never fit in a zero so i don't know what the heck but honestly what i was thinking is that they have the sizes where they're not like zero two four six it's like 34 36 28 and so i probably was confused or something because i've never been a zero i don't know what um so i reordered them a size four and six i know that these are in style right now and they're going so quickly every time I see them they're like out of stock they're the wide leg ripped uh, jean I feel like this is extremely extremely flattering you see it on all the Instagram stars right now they all have this it's high-waisted I somehow managed to squinch in my stomach so tight I literally couldn't breathe to show you guys kind of what it looks like um, when I do get a size 4 and 6 and when I get them I'll probably vlog so I got this size or the color indigo I think it's called I really like the like light lighter wash for the springtime I feel like it'll look better with you know more statement tops like this so yeah love those I actually really do they're just the wrong size this is a ribbed lace top this is very simple neutral so freaking comfortable it crops perfectly right before your waist and kind of cinches out with these lace detailing just very neutral everyday thing you could definitely layer with this I'll be wearing this quite often now we're gonna hop on over to Gymshark I'm actually a Gymshark virgin I've never bought from Gymshark I know that a lot of fitness influencers and fitness people in general swear by them and I was like are they worth all the hype I'm typically a Lululemon girl let me tell you they are first things first is the sports bra so this one was like a no-go for me number one because the bra padding shows while you're wearing it like it's really ugly <laughs> so I was like let me take them out because this one's white it was also see-through I also really thought that the zipper idea would be really cool because sports bras are just a pain in the butt to put on and off because they're so freaking tight but this was like really even worse because every time that I wore this, like I'd have to like squeeze it in and have Noah help me. So it just wasn't ideal. I'm definitely going to return this one. Um, once it was on though, it looks really cute. I just wish the padding was a little bit different. The first pair of leggings I got were these. These are like the basic leggings that I feel like everyone gets. I really like this gray color. Um, I feel like they it can go with pretty much any color. I really like to get neutral color leggings just because of that. These cinch you in all the right places. I used to look at like fitness influencers and I'd be like my body's just not shaped like that But this makes me look like I have a cinched waist and a huge booty. It was so flattering I was so impressed and I thought for sure because when looking at influencers wear these they look kind of uncomfortable to be honest Because they are so tight, but they're actually extremely comfortable and super flexible like I could find myself doing yoga with these they're so freaking flattering like I cannot tell you guys I like wish I could just wear these all the time I probably will because they just are so freaking flattering especially to your waistline they like cinch you and it's just you just want to look at yourself the whole time and then I got these so this one is a little bit out of my element I don't typically get like colored leggings but I really liked this ombre look and wearing these with like maybe a more neutral top again this one cinches you in all the right places I freaking loved it and then this is my favorite piece from Gymshark I love black I feel like it's the most flattering it's not as spring as you would think but this is such a comfortable comfortable flattering flattering top I actually saw this um from a 
a different influencer and I was like, I have to have that. And this is what got me to the Gymshark website in the first place. I just feel like the crop is at the perfect length. My abs are more defined here at the top and every time I wear a crop top or, you know, like a sports bra or a shirt or something like that, they, like it kind of hides like where the most defined part of my abs are. It's not really the best at the bottom. Um, so this with the leggings, like having it cinch at my waist and then the perfect amount of crop, it just is so flattering. And this is my favorite piece from them for sure. And then I picked up just a regular crop top. So I really liked this one because again, it's a little bit brighter for springtime. It has the Gymshark logo on it. And I just feel like you can't really go wrong with a basic tee. I typically will do cardio with like more flowy clothes just because I feel like I get so like hot. So this will be definitely like a cardio shirt. I really, really, really like how the sleeves here cuff. I feel like you can make any t-shirt really cute by just folding in the sleeves and this one is stitched so it doesn't come out. I typically will buy these and they're only stitched like a little bit so sometimes they flare out. This is stitched all the way through so like, I don't know, it's just very flattering. It's it's the perfect tee. I really, 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 really like it. Again, I'll be wearing it quite often. And then on over to Princess Polly. You guys know I love Princess Polly. They actually sponsor me quite a bit. So if I can find the last time I sponsored them, which has been a while, uh, the discount code, I'll link it down below for you guys. See if it works, but I'm not promising anything. First thing is first, I, you can tell like I literally haven't bought clothes in so long because literally all my tops are so small. I was so angry. Princess Polly, keep in mind, they're tighter tops run a little bit smaller. So I typically am a size two in a top, but I could not fit this around my waist or anything. Like it was just, it was rough. Like I tried to get it in. It was basically a corset, but this top is so freaking cute. I really hope that I can exchange it for a size four. I know black again is not very spring of me, but I don't know. I just feel like it looks really good. They might have this in white too, if you're looking for more of a brighter top, but it's basically like this corset crop top with these really, really beautiful shoulders. They kind of like ruffle, very girly. It has a bow here where you tie it in and it's just the perfect like brunch top if you will i freaking love it i just have to exchange it for a different size and then same with this one i was so bummed i really like this one so this one has the very open puffed out sleeve but it's super tight um and form fitting in your midsection so it doesn't make you look like super oversized or flowy i think it's so flattering again it has that like square top chest line which i really really like it's so cute, again, perfect for like a brunch or something, but I need to get a bigger size because it didn't zip up here. <laughs> and then I picked this up. This is just a basic rouged, is that what this is called? Top, this is so freaking comfortable. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. I just love these rouge, rouge? I feel like I'm saying it wrong and this whole video is gonna be like this rouge. These ties here are very 90s, which I love. I'm a 90s child, if you didn't know. They're just super, super flattering. Again, they kind of like cinch you in. It's so comfortable. I feel like I'm gonna be able to pair this with a lot of different things. Now this one was a no-go for me. I tried this sweater trend. I feel like I'll like a more lighter sweater trend. This one is definitely more fall, probably. That's why I didn't like it. It was super comfortable and it, it's like really soft. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm definitely gonna return this one. I know this is like a new thing. I'm definitely going to try probably like a a lighter sweater for sure. So I like when I see it on people, but I'm like, how do I do that myself? Then I picked up this another sweatshirt. I don't need any more sweatshirts to be honest, but they're so freaking comfortable. Just the Harvard University. I feel like it, when people look at me with this, they're going to be like, oh my God, she went to Harvard. And I'm going to be like, yeah, I went to Harvard. I went to UCF. But still, like... <laughs> I have been to Harvard. I love the colors. I love the stripes here. It's definitely like an alumni looking sweater. So yeah, I was feeling it. And then I picked up this. Now to be honest with you guys, when I saw this, I was like, I'm not gonna like it. It's actually a set. It's just white, plain. The material is like a little bit more rough and it's ribbed. I think that's the word then when i put it on i was like "Ooh, i kind of like this like it's so freaking flattering very neutral so if you put a lot of like gold dainty jewelry on i feel like you're gonna look so good and sleek and chic i was a little bit worried about these shorts because typically when i buy shorts like this the like belted area will like flip and flop and like it's just not good but this one is stitched in so it won't be like annoying i really like it i'm definitely keeping it i feel like it's gonna look really cute on just lazy days where i want to look again chic i picked up some accessories so the first thing is i'm probably gonna put this on for you guys but i have to wash it after because i have makeup on and this is white but it's basically this headband i saw the pictures online i was like oh it's kind of cool I'm trying not to get it on my makeup I don't think that's gonna work. No, I think I thought it was cute. It kind of is very wide, so you can like either cinch it in or 
Do I put my ears out? I'm getting bored of just straightening my hair. You guys, I didn't get any makeup on this How? This is very 90s and I feel like not a lot of people are gonna like it, but I saw a girl in Trader Joe's actually here. By the way, the city is the perfect lookbook for any fashion person. Like I've never been into fashion, but here in the city, everyone has like such unique styles and there's lots of trends that I can notice here where I, whereas like in Florida, I didn't really notice certain trends until like two years later i don't know it was just, but anyway so i was at trader joe's and i saw this girl wearing a furry bucket hat and it was purple it was so cute she looked like a 90s freaking baby and i was like oh my gosh she looks so freaking cute i have to get that so i went on uh princess Polly and i saw that they have a lot of different like fun like accessories and stuff they're like the go-to and i found some this is the first one so this is like very furry um again it looked so good on the model so i'll pop a picture here of like the idea of where i'm getting this from um but i just feel like it's so cute so it looks like this so you can wear it like this but i honestly like to roll it up a little bit um i don't know it's definitely like an instagram worthy thing i think and it's really comfortable i feel like britney spears or christina aguilera and then I picked up another one, but this one is not as furry. It looks like cow, cowhide. And this one I don't really fold. And again, I feel like it'll look good like on an Instagram picture, especially when I'm in Florida, guys. Like it's gonna protect my face, you know? Like, like sunscreen. <laughs> don't want to get any more sunspots i think it's cute let me know what you guys think do you guys like this bucket hat trend of like the 90s bucket hat i know like bucket hats kind of came in last year but now they're like the more outrageously and obnoxious they are the better i'm digging it i like it and then i also picked up some shoes from princess polly but honestly they were a no-go i'm kind of looking for something similar like this but maybe more of a nude color this material here was like super uncomfortable i don't know i wasn't feeling it but you guys understand where i'm trying to go if you do comment down below some shoes and let me know i would prefer a neutral like a, a neutral a nude and then we're gonna head on over to free people i think free people is like my style for sure i love their clothes but they're just so freaking expensive so i typically will only get clothes from there if i'm looking for like everyday pieces so i picked up some levi jeans unfortunately they were a little bit too big pants to me are the worst like i have to try them on unfortunately i just i think i'm gonna return these and just go when i go back home to florida into the free people there so i can try them on yeah i just need a good pair of jean shorts but i wanted them to like not be super too low cut short but also make you like cinch in at the waist but make you look like flattering in the butt area. Levi's always do it for me and I typically will go to free people for my jeans. This is a everyday just bodysuit. I really like the color of this. It's kind of like a army faded green. I really, really, really like it. It has that square neckline that I really like. This is like a must for a bodysuit. It unhooks at the bottom. If you go to the bathroom, you guys know. You guys ever had a bodysuit that you love, but it doesn't do that, and you just have to like take everything off to even pee? Like it's the worst. Anyway, so yeah, I really, really like this color, especially for springtime. It almost kind of like melts into your skin. It's so tight, but not tight where it's uncomfortable. That's why I got it from Free People because uh, I know Free People is super, super good quality clothes. Even if it can be a little bit more expensive, it's totally worth it if you're gonna be wearing like everyday pieces, like for example, a bodysuit. You can just layer and layer and layer so yeah that is my spring clothing haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up like i said i will link everything in the description box for you guys to shop around um i hope you guys enjoyed love you